All right. I was a big fan of airsoft guns when I was a kid. If you don't know what an airsoft gun is, well, it's a plastic gun that kind of bridges the gap between a Nerf gun and a semi-automatic rifle. You shoot little plastic BBs, and after about a week, your whole house is littered with them. Your dad's dumping them out of the toaster. Your sister's digging them out of her ass crack. You just go around shooting a bunch of holes in all the lampshades. I was the first kid on my block to get an airsoft gun. Brought it out to show off to everybody. They're all mesmerized. I could conquer the whole goddamn world with this thing. My buddy David literally took it out of my hand. And he's like, oh, sweet. This is sweet. <laughs> David, what the fuck? It's my turn to shoot Michael in the face. It's a bit of a trendsetter, I gotta say, because like a week later, every kid on the block had an airsoft gun. They didn't have a normal airsoft gun like I did. They had this fucking battery-powered M16 tactical shit. Fully automatic. Get shot in the face 30 times in four seconds. <laughs> Hold on a damn minute. Jesus, I'm using this Stone Age piece of crap. My shit looks like a Happy Meal toy compared to yours. Michael's over there. Doesn't even have an airsoft gun. He's like shooting BBs through a fucking straw like it's a blowgun. He's wearing his puffy-ass winter coat in the middle of July. His body armor. There'd always be somebody out of ammo trying to call timeout. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Timeout. Make sure ain't no timeout in airsoft. You get home with a bunch of red welts all over your body like somebody gave you a smallpox blanket. I eventually upgraded my arsenal, threw my handgun out, and purchased a uh, big old sniper rifle. Things bigger than my entire body. Big ass scope on top of it like I was gonna assassinate a public official. Sure, it didn't shoot fast like the other ones, but uh, that thing had some power. My friends hiding behind a car and shit. I just shoot through the fucking car. First weekend I got that rifle. Shot my cousin in the back. The following weekend we had a closed casket funeral for him. Now, on one particular day, we were playing capture the flag. And it's important to note at this time, they didn't put the big ass orange tips on these guns like they do nowadays. Let you know it's a fake gun. No, they just dab a bit of orange nail polish on the end of that bitch, call it a day. And that kind of makes it a little hard for your neighbors to determine if you're outside playing or if you're committing an act of domestic terrorism. Yeah, hi, 911. There's a child with a deer rifle and he's running amok in the streets. So I'm sitting there at my base, which is David's front yard. I'm peeking through my scope like I'm about to put Lyndon B. Johnson into office. And I'm out in the look out for David. Now, where's David at? Well, David has ADHD, so he's not at his base, and he's not at my base. Hell, I don't even know if he even knew he was playing at the time. Probably forgot all about it, chasing a butterfly and shit. Now, David decides to walk to one of the busiest streets in the city and wave around what looks to be an automatic assault rifle in the air. Well, imagine David's surprise when about four seconds later, goddamn paddy wagon pulls up in front of him. Bunch of cops pile out. They got their guns drawn on this completely oblivious, attention deficit child. Now, I wasn't there. I was around the block waiting to shoot David in the teeth with my Kennedy killer, but I bet that turd in his pants was massive. Well, it didn't take him long to figure out that David's gun wasn't real. Luckily, he wasn't massacred on the street right there and then. They load his ass in the back of the wagon, like the wild animal that he is, and they pull up to the front of his house. Now, I was there for this part, and I can say for sure that the turd in my pants was massive. One cop gets out, and he's like, put that goddamn rifle down! So I threw it, like the gun was on fire. Dave comes out of the back of the truck, looking like a shitty Dennis the Menace. <laughs> the hell do you think you kids are doing? Uh, we're just playing. Why is that kid wearing that puffy ass coat? It's 94 degrees outside. <laughs> Dave's mom comes running out like they're filming an episode of Law and Order in her front yard. Then again, she gets to meet Ice team. She's got to deal with this bullshit. Now, the cops are really cool about this whole shitty situation. They gave David's mom her arsenal of plastic weapons. And they're all like, well, we could have murdered your kid and got away with it, but, uh, well, we didn't, so you're welcome. Why don't you give him a wiffle ball bat or some shit to play with instead? Jesus Christ. So the moral of the story is don't be a fucking idiot waving a weapon around in the street.